first of all you need to install the plugin so this is the file the dmg file double click on it and here you can double click on text presets package here you can see all the tutorials just wait for the installation to finish and click close you can move to the trash or keep it click here and then you can unmount the dmg now let's open final cut to open the plugin go to the titles tab by clicking here and then look for lanlfx text presets in the titles browser you'll find tools adjustment layer and guides you'll find background so you can combine with text you'll find several different categories like basic and then you can pass the mouse through the titles like that to see the animation here you can see blur bounce continuous we are going to talk about this one in a specific video fast and so on also with this plugin you can go to the effects tab right here click and select LanoFX text presets. Here you'll find some animated shapes and outlines so you can use with text. It's very useful and you can create endless combination and create amazing titles, lower thirds and so on. And you also have here the effects where you have motion blur, drop shadow, extrude, flicker, move, prism and so on. We are going to talk about these effects in a, another video, alright? So let's see how you can customize a title. First of all, look for the one that you want to use. For example, let me go to continuous no bounce, for example. Click and drag and add to the timeline. Here I'll put 24 frames per second and click OK. Shift Z. Hit play, space bar, so I can see the animation. To customize the text, press Command 4 or open the inspector by clicking on this button. Here you can go to the Titles tab and you'll find all the parameters available so you can customize the text. You can disable or enable the built-in and out animation. If I disable it, I can't see the animation at the beginning or at the end. Shift Z. Look, I disabled both animation, so I'll enable it again. Here you can see the mask mode, we are going to talk about it in another video because I need to give you some tips. Here you can see the transform where you can change the scale and position of all the text available on the screen because sometimes you can have more than one and you can use the on-screen controls to change the position or the inspector just click and drag click and drag to change the scale or you just leave this as it is and then you can come here to size and make the size a bit smaller for example and you can customize the text here put for example fast or lanafx.com you can change the font the style the size where it's a line, line spacing if you have more than one line, like that, tracking, color, and let's say that you want to customize the color and size of individual words. So let me put here website, for example. So you need to double click on the viewer and then select the word that you want to customize, go to face, and then you can change the color or you can select and change the color and size of individual words like that or style for example tracking and so on to accept click here press ask to accept Another thing that you can do is to change the duration of your title, so you can click and drag, you can click Ctrl D or right click, change duration and then you can type for example 300 for 3 seconds. 
You can duplicate by holding down the option key, click and drag. And then here you can select this one and change the text. For example, and then you can change the color and so on. Let's go back to the titles tab and here you'll find animation controls for all the titles. The parameters available will change from title to title because every title works differently. In some titles you'll find in duration and out duration. This means that you can change the duration of the animation, but for some titles you will not find this option, alright? In this case, that you can't change the duration of the animation here in the inspector, what you can do, a workaround is to select option G or right click, new compound clip, OK, and then here you can press shift T, for example, go to the end of the animation, select shift B, and here you can change the duration of the animation. This is one way, one workaround, so you can change the speed of the animation. Command Z to go back. And one thing that is very important is the organization of the titles. As you can see, you'll find the category, you'll find the category name and the word character. This means that the animation is done using characters or you'll find line this means that the animation was based on lines or based on words so there's three types of animations characters line or based on words all right and you'll find this in all categories so that's the basics on how to use the text presets plugins for Final Cut. In the next videos we are going to talk more in depth on how to take the most out of it. How you can create cool animation, cool effects using text, backgrounds and effects. Alright? Thank you, see you on the next video.